Oh, oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, hopefully you can hear me, and uh, my green shirt is not like keying out in the screen right now. Uh, let's do a quick, uh, quick sound check. How's the audio? Good? Bad? Muted? Hopefully not muted. And uh, we'll go from there. Hey, what's up? Yes, hello. Just a lot. One, two, three. Hi. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there they go. So is this dad? <laughs> hey guys, we also know about the chair over here. This dude. We know about that. It's a mesh chair, so it's going to look awful. It's actually a magical chair. It is. It takes you to another dimension. It's glitchy. Hey, what's up, guys? Yes. Oh, man, that's a lot of chat. Okay. Sir hello, I'm out. Sergio, can you go Can you go check on our guests? They're yes. arriving soon. We wanted to um, to jump on, even though our guests aren't here yet, but today we're going to be talking to both uh, Otani-san, who is, I think he's the main composer for Sonic Forces, and a lot of past Sonic games. You guys put Sonic Colors, great music in that game, and a number of other Sonic titles um, that I'm sure you guys will put out in chat. And also we're talking to Jun Sanoe of Crush 40, and he is the guitarist of Crush 40. You guys know him as well. You know, anything from Adventure, Adventure 2, that's Jun. He's, he's all over the place there. Did I get a tan? Um... Man, it kind of feels like it. So I guess I'll tell you guys where we've been. You've probably seen the, the South by Southwest panel last week uh, in Austin, Texas. That was on, when was that? That was Thursday, right? It's been a long last few weeks, guys. So we were at South by Southwest. Uh, before that, we were at PAX East in Boston doing that. Um, before that, we were at GDC right before that. And then um, previous to that trip, I was in Minneapolis. And then just yesterday, I was at a wedding in San Jose. So. There's been like five flights in the last three weeks. It's been pretty crazy. So thanks for uh, for bearing with me today as I may seem a little tired or appear that way. There's there's good reason. So let's take a moment right now to answer some questions. I'm just going to talk to you guys in chat while we're waiting for our guests to get here. Um, they are here in Los Angeles uh, recording stuff for Sonic Forces. It feels really nice to be able to tell you guys the actual name now, too. That's pretty good. Someone says, saw you in PAX East. Awesome. Thanks for coming by the booth. Hope you enjoyed playing Sonic Mania. Yes, Minneapolis. That's right. It was cold. It was a little chilly there in Minneapolis, but we had a really good burger, and it was like a, a burger with butter like infused into the burger. Probably the most unhealthy burger I've had in years, but man, it was good. What else we got? Met you at PAX East. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Good to meet you, Ben. Let's see. Someone says vocals. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> oh, will Big the Cat be in Sonic Forces? I haven't seen him there yet. Uh, I don't know. I kind of hope that they put him as like a cameo like they did in the SA2 levels where he just like is he's hiding in certain parts of the level. Let's see. Someone says, are we only talking about music today? Uh, that's going to be the big thing since we have Otani-san and sanoi san here. We thought they never are here from Japan normally, so let's get them in the room. Let's interview them. Let's ask them some questions about what it's like making music for Sonic games. Maybe see if they can give us a little insight into what the style is for Forces even and ask some questions on that. Uh, don't look for any like crazy revelations, uh, like you know new level reveals or stuff like that for, for any of the big games. We just finished with South by and had a ton of stuff there. Um, Tabo's, you've been noticed. What else we got here? How did you defeat Roger Craig Smith? Dessert, lots and lots of desserts. I, I posted something on my personal Twitter. We got like four things of dessert to share at the table, and Roger uh, went into food coma mode. It was it was great. Let's see. What did I get Sergio for his birthday? Uh, okay. All right, I'll tell you. He's not he's not watching right now, so I can tell you. Don't spoil this for me later, guys. Um, so recently, Sergio uh, ate a, a pepper, like a habanero pepper, because uh, he was kind of calling me out, like, oh, habaneros aren't that hot, right? And at one point, I ate three of them. So I was like, Sergio, you know, man up. Like, eat, eat a pepper then. Um, oh, wait. Okay, no, they're not here. And uh, so he did, and I recorded him doing it, and it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And so I got him a, a pepper magnet from Texas uh, for his birthday gift. Let's see, what else we got here? Have you nearly accidentally said Sonic Forces instead of Project 2017? Once, once I came really close to saying that. And I was like, well, it's in Sonic uh, uh, Pro Project 2017. Yeah, it, that has happened. Someone says, how's your evening going? Flambo TV, long time no see. Hey man. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, it's been it's been a busy day. I just flew in from uh, from San Jose back to LA today. Show us the pepper video. You can watch uh, my pepper video at the at Hot Pepper Gaming is the YouTube channel. Um, they have since stopped doing their their episodes. Sadly, they've kind of they shut it down. But there's some great videos on there. You guys should check out uh, Ego Raptor. Aaron Hansen has some really good ones. Those are the, the first ones I saw. 
Um, check those out. All the videos are great uh, on Hot Pepper Gaming. Let's see what else we got. What is your favorite Sonic game? Okay, I've answered this one a few times. I'll do it again. Dividing it into three eras, the classic era, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The sort of like the Dreamcast time frame, it is probably Adventure 2. Uh, and then more recently is Generations. Those are my, my favorites. Let's see. My favorite AM2 series? Oh, that's mean. There's, there's too many good ones. Um, I played a lot, a lot of Virtua Fighter on my Sega Saturn. Like a lot of Virtua Fighter. It was a great game. I might answer with that. Would you name Project Sonic 2017? I'm not sure I understand the question. Uh, let's see. How's our tweeting meister going? Um, how's being our tweeting meister going? Oh, it's tiring sometimes. Uh, but today we, we're going to have some good stuff. And I'm just excited to finally kind of be back, back near home. I've spent more time away from home than I have at home over the last three and a half, four weeks. So I'm very excited to go home tonight and, and see what my apartment looks like. I've, I've almost forgotten. What do we got? Will Sonic Mania have any DLC for new playable characters? Uh, none, none that I know of right now. The, the plan is not to be like, hey, it's Mania. Here's some, like, 1999 day one DLC. No, we're not, we're not going to do that. That's, no. <laughs> not us. Um, what else we got? What's your opinion on Flying Battery? I'm really stoked for Flying Battery. You guys probably saw there's already some new stuff in there. The, like, the, the robot, uh, almost like junk heap. Uh, stuff and all the extra stuff in the signs. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really excited to to see what that's going to become, uh, as well as what the uh, the bosses are going to be in Flying Battery. True Blue O3 asks. Oh, and what's like True Blue? I'll answer your question. People are asking like, did you get here late? You're not here late. Our guests are late, and instead of keeping you guys waiting, uh, we just thought, hey, let's jump on, answer some questions, and as soon as our guests get here, we're going to bring them in. We'll do the interview and go from there. So, uh, True Blue O3, I think, asked, how did I get a job at Sega? Um, it's, it's an interesting story. So when I was in high school, um, I, w I played a lot of Fantasy Star Online. Great series, great game. Um, and I was asked to be a moderator on the Sega forums. The for forums were a lot bigger back in 2005 and six, right, than they were these days. And I, I of course said yes, I'd love to be a volunteer moderator. And I spent my time like pro bono, just kind of helping out on the forums and making sure that everything was kosher there. And after years and years of doing that, I sent a note in saying, like, I'd love to work at Sega someday. And, and they said, oh, you know, you're welcome to apply. And so there was a spot for Fantasy Star. It was a Game Master. And I know Game Master, right? Is there a cooler sounding job title than Game Master? Maybe not. Like maybe Executive Chief of Staff Game Master, something like that is cool. But for me, it was just Game Master. And so I was like, that's amazing. I'm going to apply for it. Um, and they wrote me back, but the letter back said, sorry, it's been filled. It's been filled for like three months. We meant to update the job posting and didn't. And I was just like, kind of like heartbroken. I was like, oh, okay, well, it's all good. You know, so this their nice way of telling me, you know, sorry, you're not qualified maybe. And so they're, they're like, do you want us to hit you up if there's another spot? And I was like, oh, they're just being nice to me, right? Like, sure. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Six months later, uh, I get a message and they're like, hey, it's spot opened. Um, do you want to apply? And I kind of couldn't believe it. A little bit like my dad was asleep on the couch and I ran out I was like dad dad Sega just messaged me I think they have a job opening and so that led to a phone interview the phone interview led to another phone interview which led to flying out to San Francisco for an in-person interview and then later that week they offered me the job um, and I had like nowhere to live I was living in Missouri shout out to all my Midwestern peeps out there small town Missouri um, it was just, Sega was like the pipe dream for me like he you dream of it, you think of it, you don't know if it's ever going to happen because most people kind of stay in that little town you grew up in and get married and have kids and no one ever leaves, right? And that's like the fate that so many people are consigned to. And I didn't want that to be me. Um, and so when the moment it came and they're like, you, you can say yes and figure all this stuff out on the way or you can say no and stay here and maybe never get this opportunity. I was like, I'm taking the job. So, uh, so I went for it. And I flew out to San Francisco. I didn't know where I was going to live. And... I had no idea what was going to happen. And it wasn't, you know, obviously, like, when you first start out, it's not like you're making a ton of money so that you can easily, like, comfortably live. So I'm like, okay, i got to make ends meet somehow here. And it was, it was challenging the first, like, five or six months that I was out there. But I loved it. Like, I loved every moment of it. And so ever since I got to Sega, um, I kind of never looked back. Uh, so that's how I got started, True Blue 03. I hope that answers your question. It's a lot of, a lot of information there, isn't it? Okay, let's answer some more stuff. How do you think we could fix the plot holes in Silver and Blaze's story? Asked Dom Greer. 
Okay, that's a tough one because so Silver is kind of a strange character in that he was introduced, right, and he's from the future, but then he kind of also reappears after after the whole Sonic 06 thing is wrapped up, all right? Never happens, okay? That's like the, the official ending of the game is it's none of it happened. And then Silver shows up again in, I think it's Rivals, like Rivals 2, I'm pretty sure at least he's in Rivals. And it's like, wait, okay, hang on, what? So, so Silver has this thing with like coming back from the future no matter what. Uh, to be there, so I'm I'm kind of like on the fence about how Silver is dealt with. Uh, he doesn't necessarily make a, a ton of sense, but I've just kind of accepted him as like he's just there sometimes. It's cool. Hi, Silver. How's it going, man? Welcome back. Um, let's see. Will the Sonic Mania soundtrack be in the collector's edition? Um, there's no soundtrack that we've announced yet, but personally, I would love to see one. Um, we asked about a vinyl last week at the South by panel. Maybe I'll just do a little chat chat here too with you guys. Um, if you'd be interested in a Sonic Mania soundtrack or like a that vinyl like we talked about um, at the South by panel, uh, which maybe has like a choice select amount of songs, I doubt we can fit them all, but if it's like a choice select, if you'd be interested in that, uh, could you type soundtrack into chat for me? Just just hit that just once, just once. Just type soundtrack in and, and hit enter. And that I'll look back at that and we can see kind of how many people are interested in that. I have a feeling there's a few of you. Um, I know I'd love to see one too. So what else we got? <laughs> people just saying yes there's a couple soundtracks yes 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 soundtrack vinyl <laughs> yeah there's a number of you okay cool right on that wow it's still going it's still going <laughs> a lot of people typing soundtrack all right that's good you're good you can you can stop typing soundtrack now that's probably enough what else we got will we ever see a sonic writer's Four. Mm, not not that I know of. Oh, well, sorry. I was trying to answer the really big question, but it got bumped off the screen real quick. Uh, let's see here. Sonic, <laughs> Sonic 06 reboot. Uh, keep dreaming. Uh, what else we got? Mania demo coming when? No news on a Mania demo yet. We've been taking it all over the place. We took it to PAX East. We had it in, in three different booths uh, at PAX East. So uh, shout out to HyperX, EVGA, and DX Racer. Uh, for being our three three areas uh, with Sonic Mania there. We had a great time showing it off and meeting a lot of you guys at PAX East. Someone says, bounce pad, bounce pad. Roger Craig Smith is very proud of you right now, playing both TV. Let's see if I can answer some, some different people's questions here. Let's see. <laughs> Someone says, chat is so fast. I know, Nuki Chu, I know. Ah. <laughs> hey, what's up? Oh. It, you're not you're not my guests. Mm -mm. Oh, but it's a but it's another guest. Hey, this will do. I have a seat. I'm dude. Like, have hey. a seat. I've been flying solo. What's here. up, guys? Oh, oh. what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, what what'd you do to the screen? I ruined it. That's what I came here to do. <laughs> oh, it's it's your shirt. It's throwing the uh, the key off the camera, guys. Oh. You know who this is. You know him. Hey guys. Let's let's see his name in chat. It's Alex Key uh, Kid Kid. Mm. Hey, there it is, yeah. Alex Kid. Alex Kidd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, you, I've also gonna... like held your um, uh, your guest hostage for the past thirty minutes. So you're the one. Yeah, Alex. Mm -hmm. Alex, we talked. We talked about this, man. Yep. The, the plan was they were going to come on. We're going to do an interview, and then you could show up licensing stuff next next time. You know? Well, I kind of felt left out, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. So <laughs> they're currently in one of the conference rooms. I won't say which one. And uh, it's getting ugly. They're they're making demands, which I of course refuse. Um, they want water and food and stuff, but I mean it's only been a half hour. You got to give them at least a day before we give them anything. So. Alex, you you know that this is this isn't like the reason you weren't invited today. Mm -hmm. It's not personal, right? Like you understand that. Like you know that this is they just happen to fly in from Japan. It's it's not that we're trying to exclude you or the amazing licensing products that your team makes, right? No, no, it's personal. He saw right through me. Yeah, right I, I saw your corporate banter going on there, and I'm like, no, no, I work for the same company. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Well, you're, so. here, you're here already, so you might as well, you know, be, be part of the club, man. Yeah, yeah. We've been answering questions. Uh, you want to join me? Let's answer sure. some questions. Yeah, definitely. What's <laughs> What do we got? <laughs> so it's the salty, salty Alex. Very salty, indeed. This is what happens, guys. Like I like the sea. I'm just like, sorry, you know. 
Also, it's, it's like magic. Yeah, it's, was this here before I got here? Those are, the... those are, those are uh, they're bugs, little gnats, little green gnats. Yeah, just the city out. is has an infestation issue <laughs> of some kind well, of like green flying bug. The whole city is on fire. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's it's pretty rough. Who is your favorite Sonic Team employee? You want to want to answer that one, Alex? Oh, that's a good wow! One. Considering mm. they're all watching right now. Favorite Sonic Team employee. I mean, well, there's only two real Sonic Team members, right? Or are we talking about the <laughs> no, entire... There's not the whole... Oh, the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Sergio. Because, uh, you know, I deal with... Uh, you no, know, no he, doesn't, he doesn't count, actually. Sergio doesn't count? No. Sergio's, Sergio is part Answer of... Answer stands. Um, <laughs> Where is Sergio, by the way? What is he doing? Working? Uh, I sent him to go find our guests, which I think means that he's probably free. Well, he's going to be looking for a while, because I hid them in a pretty rough spot there. We, we so. only have 23 different conference rooms. It's not like he can't yeah. find them. He doesn't keep looking eventually, right? And that's just on this floor. Who knows if I put them on a different floor? Did you put them on floor three? I'm not going to say, obviously. So. Yeah. Okay, yep. okay. Someone says uh, Sonic Shuffle reboot. Did you ever play Sonic Shuffle, Alex? I never played Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> oh, we should have a good... Mm-mm. I think we should have Alex play Sonic Shuffle with us sometime. Okay, so Sonic Shuffle was a party game made for the Dreamcast. And you're playing, like, it's it's like a similar party game of another generic brand. Generic, oh, generic plumber brand. I'm familiar with generic brand. You yeah. know, you know generic brand. Mm-hmm. It's like that, but with Sonic characters. I think it was made by the same company that made generic brands party game too. Huh. Um, so okay. I'd be I'd be up for that. It's got it's got great characters. It's got Chow. Chow are awesome. The little you plays a little Chow. It's Good got Chow and Evil Chow. No, or? just just normal Chow. Okay. It's neutral. Okay. It's got Big the Cat. Oh, I love Big the Cat. Yeah. And it's got some other characters people don't care about, like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. But Big the Cat and Chow are probably the best characters in there. So Before I got here, I only knew Big the Cat. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a real learning experience. He's, being our mascot, Big the Cat is, has yeah, uh, really carried I, us quite a ways. As a kid, I only remember Big the Cat. <laughs> people are saying they'd watch a Sonic Shuffle, Shuffle stream. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, someone, let's do it. Someone asking uh, for news about the Archie comics. We don't have any news on, on Archie stuff right now. I mentioned Nothing it yet, at no. the South by panel. Uh, last week. As soon as we know um, anything, we'll update you guys and keep you posted. Let's see, Aaron, any word of Chow Enforces, please? It's been... Oh, your message is gone. I'm sorry. Um, I saw something about getting the Sonic mug and beanie on Amazon. There's a lot of Sonic mugs and beanies, so I need to know which one. So... um, (laughs) I mean, I don't know if you can, you know, just tweet at us and just let us know which ones you're looking for. We could definitely work on that for sure. Speaking of the mug, they let me keep it. I would, I would just like to extend my heartfelt appreciation and sincerest thanks to Alex and to the other licensing team members who I made bribed a few, me with the mug. Yeah, I made a few phone calls, uh, had a few meetings, and we did get it approved for Aaron to keep the mug. So it is now Aaron's mug. So I'm happy. I drink yeah. hot chocolate from it every day. Even when it's That's hot outside. True. No, it's hot chocolate is the he best. He really underutilizes the mug, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, I told been, him if you're going to keep have the mug, you've got to use it every day. I've I mean, been here to use it, man. Well, this is my first day, then like, bring first it with day you. here. Then <laughs> bring it with I'm you in your luggage. It, it's like through security, and I'm just <laughs> putting it on the security conveyor belt. Just, it's just, just going through. Just put it on through. the conveyor belt alone. <laughs> just like it just goes. just the mug just slowly going through. Sir, is this yours? Yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. Let's see. How fast will Sonic go in forces? Fast. Check out the gameplay footage if you want to see uh, a good example of Sonic running through using a boost. As an expert in speed, I'd say it was pretty fast overall. Pretty fast. Oh, yeah. to circle back to the question about Chow and forces, uh, I, I haven't heard anything about Chow and forces right now, but I've said this a few times. You should know that pretty much every time they're like, here's a concept for a Sonic game, at least one of us is like, but, but are there Chow? It, can there be Chow in this? So, we're, we're asking the questions. I just haven't heard any news any news on Chow. Let's mm. see. That's a weird one. Is Sonic yeah. hot? Tay on 3DS. That's a very specific question, Tay. You know, having been around the internet long enough, having seen things that you can't unsee, that's probably a personal preference. And yeah. uh, whatever your preference is, we respect it. That's cool. Yeah, the internet's <laughs> a weird place. You can find anything there. So, <laughs> What else we got? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, people asking about characters and like, is this character, is that character gonna be in forces? How about, how about we don't spoil for you which characters are gonna be in forces? 
and maybe we'll reveal some of them or talk about certain characters that will make an appearance or a cameo as we go a little ways forward. We Sounds don't... like you're dodging the question here. <laughs> All right. <fine>. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Who's your favorite hard-boiled heavy? I see what you're doing there. I see. I see what you did there. Um, uh, they're trying to go around and kind of get you to. Well, maybe they're kind of like they're kind of like. So there, there's more than one. Maybe if he says one that's not the one we already know about, we'll learn about a new one. Yeah. Uh, probably heavy big the cat. That because that was the one. Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. Oh Ooh, God, man. Yeah, that was. Uh, All right. Well, that one wasn't revealed yet. Oh man! Um, in the event that's not a real hard-boiled heavy, don't don't hold it against me, okay? But hey, you knew what you were trying with that question. You, you had to expect you had to expect an answer like that. What else we got? Generic brand and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yes. That's that's the case. Generic plumber. <laughs> what do we got? I love heavy big the cat. Someone says run, Aaron. It cut off. Fired. He fell for it. Yep. See there you go. Everyone's yeah. just getting fired. That's that's what we all, we all have our fingers crossed for Aaron to just be fired <laughs> one of these days. <laughs> one of these days, it's and then I'm gonna take over the stream. It's gonna be fantastic. This it's was gonna your be plan really all good. along, wasn't it? This was this yeah. Was so plan. I kidnap the guests. Yeah. You fail miserably at the stream today, uh, and then they have to take action. And then they're like, Alex, since you've been on the stream, why don't you just you're the one with experience. I'm the. I mean, yeah. We all know Sergio doesn't count. You said that earlier, so right. <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah, no, that's that's been my diabolical plan. So. How many? Three more minutes. Three more minutes. Okay, and then, then and then Someone they're here. using the restroom. You, you found him. Yes. Hey, we found he found the guests. You found the guests, guys. Otani San and Sonoy San. I hit them very here. well. Yeah. So we had to like do a lot of looking. So it's, it's all good. Thanks for finding them. Thanks for finding them. That's well, a little disappointing. I was hoping it'd go a little longer, but <laughs> I was hoping it'd take a little longer to find them. But the Alex, building's only so big. I so. mean, there's only so... We have a lot of conference rooms here. We have a lot of meeting rooms, guys. There's mm-hmm. only so many, though, that you can hide them in. So eventually, Sergio. Yep. Sergio got them. That's and yeah, we, I, know, we know the green screen is doing magical things. It's very... Uh, yeah, it's impressive. The green screen, I think, gets better every I time. Kinda, I kind of hope that either Otani-san or sanoi san are wearing, like, a green shirt. Oh, so and they're just, just like, <laughs> so moving the, the whole... When, when they sit down, screen. it just completely keys them out, and they're just, like, floating head and arms. <laughs> It's kind of great. Yeah, no, that's going to be good. Let's let's answer a couple more questions. Yeah. Give that. Yeah. Let's see here. Demo of Sonic Mania is not a question. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> it is a request. We, we hear yeah. you. We hear you. Uh, is there a Big the Cat meeting room? They're all named the Big the Cat meeting room. It's just a series of numbers. So Big the Cat meeting room one. Big, big one, big two. two. Yep. Yeah. So, a lot of confusion when booking those meeting rooms as well. It's like, I thought I had Big the Cat, too. No, I had Big the no, Cat, No, no, I had Big the Cat, too. And then it turned out they had three, so. All right. All right, oh, well, well I, I think it's time think, for me to go. I think so. our guests are here. So, uh, Alex, yeah. always a pleasure. Thanks for having me, as, as always. always. Yeah. All right, guys, have a good one. Oh, oh. All right. Ladies and gents, thanks for, uh, for, for sticking with us. It is time now to introduce our next guest, on the stream. Uh, I'm going to scoot this chair over a little bit so he can have some more room here. Uh, this is a guy whose music I'm sure you've heard in a number of Sonic games over over the past uh, five, ten, maybe even longer years. Um, he's been at Sega for a very long time. He's worked on a number of Sonic games. And his name, of course, the first guy we're going to introduce is Tomoya Otani. Otani-san, come on in. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hey, good to meet you, Otani-san. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Don't tell anyone I understand Japanese. Don't tell a soul. It's a secret. Okay. All right, Otani-san. Welcome. Hi. There we oh, go. Oh. <laughs> Sergio, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a, there's like a magical green haze Hi. going on in the background here. Oh, no, not Maybe the, green the, the lights just need to be adjusted. Uh. So, Otani-san, on the right side there, you can see what they're saying. Hi. Otani-san, ah. Uh. <laughs> Don't touch that. So, this is Tomoya. Oh, yeah, and, and yes. Woo. And the green, the green up there, I'll probably fix in a second here. Yes. Um, okay. Next, let's go ahead and introduce uh, our second guest. Um, this is someone that you guys have seen if you've been to the Sonic uh, Boom events, if you're at the Sonic 25th anniversary party, if you've played Adventure One or Adventure Two, or like really any of the Sonic games from the Dreamcast GameCube era that had a soundtrack, then you know this guy too. Uh, and we're gonna bring him in in just a second. Oh, hey, look at that magic! Right now, <laughs> Sergio is yeah. literally. 
crawling under the camera to try and I'm fix... I'm a shark. <laughs> He's, like, crawling on the carpet to try and fix the uh, green screen issue. Right. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, I got bigger. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, All oh. Right. He's trying to fix it right now. Well, let's go ahead and introduce the next yeah, guest yeah. and see what happens. Kind of. uh, everyone, please give a warm welcome to our second special guest, also from Japan today, June Sanoe. Sanoe-san, come on in, man. Mm -hmm. Yay. What's up, June? Hey, good what's to up? see you, dude. Good to see you. How you been? Yep. Long, Long time. time. I know, right? Yeah. So fun, fun story. The <laughs> first time that I met June was on a, a, a video conference call for Sonic 4, wasn't it? Uh, yes, it was. Sonic 4, right? Yeah. And we went to dinner uh, two, at one point. 201. Like six 11? years ago? Yeah, like six or seven years ago. Yeah. I was so nervous on that first call. <laughs> I was like, it's like, it's June Sanoe. <laughs> okay, All right, don't, don't do anything stupid. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was fun. Uh, you're gonna see some weird things happening with the video for a second as Sergio fixes the green screen, guys. So bear with us. Um, but yeah, that was fun. <laughs> the yeah. Chat. You're gonna be able to see the chat in just a second here, guys. All right, cool. Oh, I think we're all cool. sorted. There we go. Will Eggman hack the stream? I hope not. Someone says, "Oh, they like your hair, guys." Yeah. They think your hair. Yeah, your hair. Yeah. Your hair. No, <laughs> no, not my hair. No, no. 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 Yeah. <laughs> okay. What else we got? June speaks English. Yeah, June speaks really good English. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, you that <laughs> was good. Either. That was good. Sergio, can you like... Can you, yeah, you got it? You All got right. this? You might see us. Oh, uh, you might see a shark. <laughs> slide Sergio in there for a second. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, look at that. Everyone says, I love you guys. Hi, guys. How about, <laughs> how about to get started, let's uh, let's give them a warm welcome um, to the U.S. because they're, they're typically, you guys are normally in Japan, right? Yeah. And you've, you've come out to the U.S. just mm. for this. So uh, everyone... Please give them a warm welcome in uh, in Twitch chat, and let's see how many welcomes we can get. We'll do that for just just one time, just just one welcome. That'll be enough, and then we're gonna move on to the interview. Yeah, you guys ready to watch? The title interview. Oh well, whatever kind of interview, really. Right. So June, have you? What's your favorite food? Yeah, actually, that's right. <laughs> have you have you ever eaten a hot pepper, June? Hot pepper. Hot pepper. Mm. Habanero. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Mouth on fire. <laughs> That's that kind of interview. So I'm just going to give you both hot right. peppers. You're going to eat them, and then you're going to cry. It's going to be... Oh, look at... Okay, there you go. Welcome. Everyone's saying welcome. <laughs> That's how fast it goes. Yeah. I know. Well, how many of you are... Uh, uh, oh, let's see. Sergio, what's, what's our number here? 900 right now. 900 mm -hmm. people watching us right now. We need 3,000 more. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like, call your friends. Bring everyone in. 3,000 more. Let's go. I want more audience members. Yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go ahead and uh, and start off with some questions here. All right. All right. So we wrote some stuff down. I'm I'm probably not even going to follow these too much, but let's just get st get started. Um, Otani san first questions for you. Hi. Let's start off talking about Sonic Forces. Sonic Forces. Mm. Right. Because we we just revealed the the theme song, the instrumental right. version of the theme song, right. right, for Sonic Forces. What kind of what's your inspiration when you're coming up with the music for Forces? What what things do you think about in your mind, like creatively, when you think about how the music is going to go? Main theme. Oh, so okay. Then, like, I'm going to do it like you're talking about. No. Ah, what? From where? Do you know? Inspiration. Who got? Hmm. 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 No, I'm not a translator. I think, but he wants to give the answer in Japanese. Come on, June, you're good at this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, dude. You need to hire some means for you. Tell you what, I know a guy. Tell you what, maybe we can go grab a translator, right? You think you can go grab one of our? Yes. Yeah. I'll grab one of our translators. June, I should. I give you five dollars. Oh, I can't have some more. <laughs> I got, I got, hang on, I got, I got my wallet, I got my wallet right here, hang on. We can hire a transit, see look, I got my, I got my, uh, branded. Oh, cool. Sonic wallet, it's kind of falling apart, I've had it for a couple of years. But, it's not bad, right? Yeah. I got, uh. I need a back. <laughs> <laughs> Money stolen by June Sinoe. <laughs> Things I never thought would happen in life. So, oh, man, so it says they're so cute when they're shy. Ah, uh, well, okay, the thing is, I don't know how many of you guys are bilingual. It is tough. It's very tough to to give really complex or detailed answers in a language that's not your first language. 
Um, so we're going to try and bring someone in so they can kind of give us answers in Japanese, and then we can convey that to you guys with the. No, actually, this is a. Uh, oh, riot cool. shirt. Uh, just I read the. Oh yeah. yeah. Comment. I found a guy. You might found a guy. <laughs> hey, Austin. Hey, surprise. Oh, awesome. Austin. Right. Come on. You know what's going all right, I'm. Cool. Oh, they don't get to see me, so they just get to hear the voice of you guys, Otani san well, Sounds very similar to the voice of Isaac san if, <laughs> if you guys watched our panel at South by Southwest last week, um, Austin Keys, who is with us right now, also our director of product development, uh, is here to kind of help out. This is totally not his day job, by the way. He's just, kind of like, <laughs> he's just jumping in because we need somebody to help here. Okay. So thanks, thanks so much, Austin. You're very welcome. Um, okay, so the question we asked was, what was the inspiration yes. for Otani-san when it came to making the music for Sonic mm. Forces? Uh, oh, you need me to interpret yeah, yeah, the, the question as well, yeah? No, 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 he, he's got oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. シリアスなあの、どうせにしてほしいっていう Okay, so, yeah, one of the uh, main inspirations was really the uh, serious tone mm. that Izuku-san wanted, you know, conveyed in the music of the uh, game as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, he did a really good job of trying to incorporate a lot of different musical instruments and kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, sounds into the, this theme song to give it that real serious, uh, you know, feeling. And dramatic, dramatic, dramatic as well. Yeah, yes. see, he's got it. He got this <laughs> song. That was good. That's good. You got this, man. All right, cool. Uh, June, somebody wants you to do a hair flip. You gotta flip, flip. They want you to flip your hair. Here. <laughs> is, that, is that good enough? Is that good enough? Oh, that's good enough. Let's see. Someone says, June, can you dab without the other two knowing? Well, we know now. We know now. Let's. Um, okay, it's a really good answer, Otani san. Thank you for that. Um, June, let's ask you a question. June, you started with Sonic Three, right? Oh, uh, yes, back in 2000, uh, no, 1993. How many years has it been now? Uh, I cannot count. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't count that high either, dude. Once it gets past hands and feet, I can't okay. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> 24 years. It's more than 10 yeah. and 20, it's, that's it's it. Wild. For, for Izuka-san and mm. for me, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the Sonic 3 was the first Sonic game uh, to involve Wii's. Awesome. So it's been many, many years. Now, tell me something, when did, when did you start at Sega? Oh, so around, right, right around like mm -hmm. Sonic Adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he mm -hmm. was not in the Sonic Adventure era. Mm -hmm. And then uh, his first experience for Sonic game was uh, Sonic Adventure 2. And then he was the person in charge for the liberal music for the Knuckles stuff. You, Otani san, are, are you the one responsible for the amazing lyrics in the Knuckles songs? Or just the beats? Are you the beats? The beats. The, the, You're the beats. Music, yeah. So, like, um, Death Chamber and Meteor Hair and all that. That's, yeah. that's you. Or Pumpkin Hill. Pumpkin yeah. Hill. Right, now the chat's going to go world up. Pumpkin Hill. Pumpkin Hill. <laughs> <laughs> the world famous Pumpkin Hill. The world famous Pumpkin Hill. People still, mm. every year around Halloween, people send us, like, Pumpkin Hill yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seriously, it's kind of amazing. So, well. I think uh, probably the entire stream very much appreciates your work uh, with, with the Knuckles beats. So thank you very much for those Otani-san and, and good work. What's a, what's a series of Otani-san that you worked on that maybe people don't know as much about? Any like non-Sonic games that you worked on? Sonic game, you guys, maybe you guys, 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 Mm. <laughs> 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 they're, qu they're quoting the lyrics of the song right now. Uh, Sp Space Channel 5. Space Channel 5. Space Channel. Channel. Wow. Part two. Part two. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Space fantastic. Channel 5 part 2. Oh, no, here. <laughs> What's that? The hair is here. Half. Oh, yeah. Is that him? Rhythm yeah. uh, Thief. Rhythm Thief. Oh, rhythm. It's a great game. Yeah. It's a great uh, 3DS, right? 3DS. I think it was 3DS. Yeah, Rhythm Thief. Fantastic 3DS music game. 
Sinoe-san, how about you? What other games have you worked on? Also, uh, he did a pass in charge for, uh, he was a pass in charge for the uh, video game called Billy Hatcher. Billy Hatcher. Yeah, we know Billy, Billy Hatcher. We know wow. Billy Hatcher here, guys. Come on. <laughs> we know we know Billy Hatcher. We have to play yes. on stream one of these days. I was going to say, we should get yes. the, the soundtrack buttons. Uh, get, get that little theme song, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, we know Billy Hatcher. If you guys know Billy Hatcher, give us a shout out in chat. Give us a little Billy Hatcher, because uh, I, I think Otani-san will appreciate just how many people know of Billy Hatcher. Um, let's go ahead, June. How about you? How, how about any games? <laughs> Someone's like, can you play, can you play, play air, air guitar? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Someone wants to know, um, what other games have you worked on outside of Sonic? Any other like, Sonic. Se- Sega games? Are there any Sega games you've worked on that weren't Sonic games? Uh, previously, I worked on Sega Rally. So it's it kind of a arcade game. Mm-hmm. Also the Nasco. Nasca, uh, yeah. It's an arcade game, too. Mm-hmm. And also uh, some Marian Sonic. Uh, it's a Sonic. Mm-hmm. And also... Many. You're just like, there's just yeah. so many. That's a good list. That's a good list. Mm-hmm. So you guys are here in Los Angeles kind of doing some stuff for Forces, right? And I know we don't want to spoil necessarily too much, but it's related to recording and stuff of that nature for the soundtrack. Is that right? You put that on, <laughs> I, I hope so. You, you, you put that on Twitter, so I hope that's okay. Okay. Can you Forces no ano ストリームの皆さんに説明することがありますテーマソングとかこう返してじゃあステイチューンステイチューンいやトゥービーアナウンスとかそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそうそ
kids. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that must be it. Live and learn, you know. Yeah. It educates young children yeah, yeah, yeah. on how to live their lives. Mm. You live and you learn. That's a great answer. We're going to get a lot of angry letters now to corporate. <laughs> Dear Sega, I heard that your, <laughs> Social your live stream host did not know the source of live and learn. <laughs> Believe me, we know. We're just kidding. Uh, okay, Tony song. last one for you. Last Another song that you're very proud of. Mm. Uh, rooftop Run. Rooftop Run, yeah. yeah. Mm. Sonic Generations budget. Ooh. Okay, but classic oh, that is, um, or <laughs> modern. He mentioned the, uh, kind of particular version. Mm -hmm. Classic or modern. Uh, exactly, exactly. Ooh, classic or modern. Oh, you did both. <laughs> you, you did both rounds. That's, both oh, That's great. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, people are people are quoting uh, your your live and learn right now. What is um, <laughs> yeah, rooftop run. That's a great one. Okay, all right, June. Last answer from you. Okay. Another song you're proud of. Uh, since he picked the instrumental song up, so I do the same. Mm. Uh, maybe Seaside Hill from the Sonic Heroes. Mm. The first level of Sonic Heroes, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes says June. So we've got some some favorites. Um, why don't you guys tell us what some of your favorites are in chat? Uh, songs. If you if you know that these guys have done them, call them out, and we'll we'll watch in about 20 seconds. Oh, this as, chat's gonna go. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Just tell us some of your favorite songs <laughs> that these guys have worked on, uh, and I, I think we'll have a good time watching that. <laughs> People have there. If you watch the chat right now, they're having some fun right now. Casino Park, uh, Seaside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, here we go. You ready? It's been about enough time. So it says Sonic Heroes. So it says Seaside Hill, Metal Harbor. So it says all of them. Sea Bottle yeah. Segway. Uh, oh, that's a great uh, one. Uh, Russell, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Windy Valley, Metal Harbor. The keys are ruling. <laughs> SA2, yeah. That's another fun one. Sonic Forces theme. See Windy and Ripley. Oh, yeah. Honeycomb Highway. Yeah. Planet Wisp. <laughs> Desert Ruins. Aquarium Sonic Park. Sonic Youth. That's a great one. Honeycomb Highway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crazy Robo. Pyramid Cave. My God. Mad Space. Pumpkin Just Hill. too many. <laughs> all right, they keep going. All hail Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all hail Shadow. <laughs> All right, cool. That's a good, that's a good amount there. Well, let's move on to the next question, guys. Basically, like everyone that. likes all that. Uh, <laughs> I have I have four pages. We're on, four pages. Yeah, we're on then, the first one. Oh. It's it's gonna be another four or five hours. Don't worry. Yeah. You got oh, this. tough day. Come on, June. <laughs> you got this. You just you, bear with me, man. You can be okay. Be strong, June. Okay. Live and learn. All right. <laughs> if you beg or if you borrow, you'll never find your way. Gotcha. You may <laughs> never find your way. <laughs> all right. Let's. All right. I'm actually gonna just jump around here. Um, what is a song that, that you guys created? I'll ask e this to each of you. A song you created that changed a lot in the process of creation. You started out, you're like, here's my idea for the song. You got halfway through, and you're like, this isn't working. And you totally changed it. Do you have, do you have any songs where you changed direction uh, and it ended up being a very different song when you finished it? Talking about the op um, theme song for the Sonic Adventure, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, Open Your Heart came out at as for, for the theme song, mm -hmm. but uh, it was a ninth song I wrote for that. So wait, that means that there were eight prototype versions of Open Your Heart that you like scrapped? No, no, no. Or like eight they were different songs, eight different kind of songs I, I threw away. And wow. Then that was a ninth song. This is new. This yeah. is like, this is really cool information. And then yeah. uh, that means if the song didn't work, mm -hmm. I threw away. Mm. Do you so still have any of them? Hmm? <laughs> do, they, do they exist in a virtual trash can somewhere? No. Like June's June's trash can? Um. Like a my Macintosh or something. Mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just come to visit. Come visit. <laughs> <laughs> Just come visit. <laughs> All right, we're going to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. Do you do you want to translate for uh, Otani San or did he get it? いや、曲とか作ってる時に、まあ、とりあえずこういう音楽を作りましょうと決めて作ってる最中に、やっぱ違うなって、ちょっと作り直したりとかしたことありますか。何度も。で、何度も。で、僕の場合だから作り直すん
A メロが気に入らなくて何度も A メロだけ何度も作ってる場合もあるし先頭から順番に作ってって<笑>なん A メロを何度も考えて次また B メロを何度も考えてっていうのもあるし丸ごと作って捨てちゃってまた新しいのもあるし。うん、<笑>作ったけどサビだけ残してまた前をイントロを作り直す場合もあります。Wow. <笑> so, Tani san has、uh, had、uh, numerous experiences. Not only does he, you know, he'll start making the song, maybe he has the introduction really, you know, set and lock.、Mm-hmm. And then he's like, you know, he starts working on making the A melody. Maybe it doesn't really work, so he keeps continually making the A melody. And, oh, it's done, you know, then we're going to move to the B melody.、Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's also had cases like June where. He, he makes something, he doesn't like it, and it's gone. And he throws it out and he starts over again.、Uh, you know, sometimes there's times when he has to rip apart everything except maybe only the harmony. And he keeps the harmony and then he kind of like builds around that again.、Um, you know, he's really you know, doing whatever, whatever it takes to make the music sound、uh, like what, he, what he's in,、uh, envisioning it to. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So, so y- you'll notice something like a pattern here, guys, which is that. A lot of those songs that you have heard, you've heard Live and Learn, you've heard Open Your Heart, you've heard Otani San stuff, right? But it's not like they just sat down and they're like, oh yeah, there you go, done, it's done, there you go, right? Like they, they, build, they build these songs and they get halfway through and they go, oh, maybe I want to change this.、Uh, it's still not working, right? And they, they keep adjusting these. And there's so many, like June said, eight scrapped versions before he finished Open Your Heart, right? Which is crazy that there are eight versions out there that were the prototype versions of the song. I'd never heard that before, by the way. I think, <laughs> I, I think that's new information, but、yeah. it's really cool to, to hear.、Um, so, if, if you are also a musician that's trying to like, find your way out there, don't, don't be afraid if your first track right, maybe isn't that good. Or you know, you're like, it's just not signed there yet. I, even for these guys, they're working so hard to keep going back and back and back again to make that happen. Now, then, this, this next is going to be fun.、Um, I'd like to know. Your favorite Sonic character that is not Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Amy? Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, or Amy? You can't, you can't pick Sonic or Tails or Knuckles or Amy. Pick another character.、Sonic、Which one's your favorite? You want to go first? Okay. Shadow? Shadow? Yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog. Never mind, you can't pick Shadow. <laughs> you can't pick Shadow either. <laughs> Ooh, you forgot about Shadow. I, sh- I should have said Shadow. He's only the number two most popular character in the series. I know. <laughs> How about, how about if you can't pick Shadow? He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to make him say Big Big Cat? Tails, no, Knuckles, no, they can pick whoever they want. Shadow. You guys know. Sonic, good cat. Maybe Silver. 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 Yeah, Silver, Silver the、right. Hedgehog. We were talking about him earlier. Someone was asking questions about the timeline in Silver, and I was like, please don't ask me that. That's really confusing. Yeah, we don't touch timeline. <laughs> okay, so, so Silver the Hedgehog is, is Otani's favorite beyond that core group. It's a tough one, right, June? It's a tough question, you know. Can't, you can't pick Shadow?、Um, I'm sorry, I should have told you Shadow in the beginning.、Um, Someone says they want you to pick Charmy. Charmy? Charmy? <laughs> Someone says Charmy. Charmy.、Uh, I prefer Espio. Espio? Yeah. yeah. Espio the chameleon. Why do you like Espio?、Uh, the color.、Mm. Since、uh, the black and red, and also the purple is my favorite color.、Mm. Black, red, purple? Yeah. Jim, were you part of like, the, the emo scene in high school or college? Like the really like, the emotional rocker <laughs> scene? Is that, is that you? <laughs> Only like black, red, and purple are my favorite. I'm like, hmm. You probably weren't, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. I guess I just, it was worth asking, right? Not okay, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah. Let's ask some more questions here. How about. Okay, this is a good one. A lot of people watching this probably grew up listening to music. Maybe 4,000 right now, right?、Uh, at least 80,000 right 80, now. 80,000.、Sure. Okay. Maybe a million.、Um, all, all 1 million people watching this. Twitch chat, don't tell him. He can't see the numbers. Pretend it's a million. All, all one, two million people watching this、um, grew up with music that you guys made, right? They played games and they heard your music. Maybe you've inspired a lot of people to want to make music for video games. Do you have any advice for those people? Those young people right now trying to, to make music、yeah. for video games? Sometimes、um, I got a message from the fans、uh, through Facebook or、mm-hmm. Twitter or something like that.、Mm-hmm. And then、uh, somebody、uh, they started playing guitars or something、mm-hmm. like that. And then enjoy music. I'm playing music and composing something. Something related, music related is fun. 
So your advice is like stick stick to stuff with music, right? Yeah. Like practice instruments or you know mm-hmm. spend a lot of time with it. Just absorb yourself in music. Feel the music. Feel, Feel the, the mu- music. There you go. There you go. June Sinoe, 2017. Feel the music. <laughs> so you get like right. a picture a picture of June smiling. It says, "Feel the music." Put that quotes. on a T-shirt. Little little comic sans there. <laughs> あ、ゲームやってる子供たちは結構いるんで、その子供たちがやっぱ音楽をプレイしながら聞いたりして、この音楽かっこいい。やっぱこの音楽も私も聞きたいとかやりたいと多分思っちゃうんですよ。で、そ
from uh, from forces because it sounds like there's a lot of excitement for that. So mm-hmm. cool. Well, thanks, Otani san. All right, June. There's been a lot of questions going up. Could you see some of them? Let's go with. Hmm. <laughs> Anything political, the good, the advice is don't ever touch it. <laughs> so please don't ignore those questions. Um, look, look for video game focused stuff. Let's do. How about? Wow, how? Oh, here's a good one. How long does it take to make a Sonic soundtrack? Sonic no soundtrack o tsukuru ni wa dono gurai jikan ga kakari de shou ka? A lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of music, right? There's so much stuff. Is it is it like months? Is it years? Is it about a year? About one wow. year. Wow! Almost a full year of like coming up with songs, mastering them, finalizing everything. That's crazy. And do you guys normally? Do you make the songs before you see a level, or do you get to see the level first and then let the level inspire you to make the song? Mm, it's good illustration. Mm. Um, it will be easy, or if I can see the level or I can play the level mm-hmm. uh, during writing songs, since uh, I can <coughs> get the vibe of the level. You know? Right, right, right. And also I can catch the uh, tempo of the level. But sometimes uh, I need to compose, start composing with just a one simple artwork or, or something like that. Oh, like, like here's the concept yeah, art, yeah, yeah. good luck. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay. But we can do um, in a boss style. Mm-hmm. You know. Cool. So, so ideally, they let you see the, play the levels first. Sometimes you have to just make the music without actually playing the level. Just with concept art. Yeah, no, he's had the exact same mm-hmm. experience. Same thing? Uh, yeah, Sorry. here's one picture of what we want to make. Please make some music for it. Uh, or, you know, we have a level that's done. Go ahead and play it. And, uh, uh, only concept takes. Only takes. Oh, really? Oh, only like, like, like just, just like even takes. <laughs> it is a desert <laughs> level. It is hot. <laughs> and you're like, okay, yeah, I'll be, I, I got some. The <laughs> okay, cool. Well, June, some people are asking, are you are you involved in forces at all? Are you able to, to comment on that? Can we say anything on that? Um, actually, I'm not. Don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> um, since uh. As you may know, uh, Tomoya, mm-hmm. uh, he was the sound director for lots of Sonic games, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like um, Sonic All Six, mm-hmm. uh, Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, and Colors, right? Colors. Yeah. And then those three titles, uh, there were several vocal songs, right? Mm-hmm. And then he always asked me uh, to find the singers. Uh, so for his songs, this was like cash, cash at, and at then one point, for right? Soup or zebra head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he didn't have mm. them in his mind. And then after he uh, he he always asked me to find this, those kind of singers. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I prefer to have zebra head for all six, and mm-hmm. then body soup for unleashed, and then cash, cash for. Colors. Colors, yeah. 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 So I brought them to the games. Cool. And then, uh, yeah, I was a passing charge for doing that. So you guys, and then you're like a team. Like a team. Yeah. And then I do the same thing for this kind of game, you know? Mm, so so we, I'm here. So everyone's been speculating we're going to see some vocals in that, in the yeah. final version of that song. And that this kind of, this kind of confirms it, right? So, okay. All right. I won't ask you to, you know, you don't have to say so yes. So you know the reason for that I'm here, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it makes sense now. We, we got it. We got it now. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Great. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Teamwork. You just got to. Otani and Sanoe. <laughs> it's a, uh, such a like uh, this uh, main theme number. Uh, Sonic Forces main theme mm-hmm. was concept of mm-hmm. concept. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
You like this. Like. Teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all about teamwork. 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 Yeah. All the about game teamwork. involved, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, oh, cool. A little teaser about From. the game. All right, Ooh. cool. I think that's that's a good one then. Let's take one more question from the chat, guys. Last question. This is the last question, and then we got to let these two guys probably get some food. It's like 6 o'clock here. Yeah. Get get them out of here. Let's see here. <laughs> so this is where I got to find June's guitar. I think they, they sell those online, don't they? Yeah. Um, uh, ask ESP dealers. Yeah, e ESP? Yeah. ESP dealers? Mm hmm Okay. All right, let's see. Last question. Wow, there's a lot of questions. There's one I saw earlier, and I think it kind of goes back to the fan question. Have you guys listened to any sort of fan remixes, like a T Wolves oh, yeah. or whatever? Have you ever Have you ever heard a fan remix of one of your songs and been really impressed or amazed by a fan remix mm -hmm. of one of your um, songs? Actually, uh, there are several lots of fans send me a link, a, mm -hmm. a link of the, like a YouTube links or something like that. But if I make a comment for one of them. So oh, I feel like you have to do for all of them, them right? Too, right? Yeah, yeah. So maybe that, maybe you're unfair, right? Yeah, so maybe but maybe there's some fans out there who've done remixes of your songs and even though you haven't commented, maybe you've actually listened to it, right? And they just never know. Mm -hmm. mm. That's kinda cool. Yeah. Okay. It's like how Tani san may not have heard of the Rockestrate My World remix that Falk made, Falk Ah Young. Mm -hmm. He went on to work on a Certain popular RPG that we cannot mention, but he did a remix of of uh, Endless Possibility that's really good. And mm. You can find that online. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
world exclusive look at gameplay that just went live last week. And of course, uh, we hope you guys are looking forward to the music, which these two gentlemen are working very hard on even right now. So mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you again, Sanoe san Atani san. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Twitch chat, that is it for us for now. We're going to take off. You guys have a great night. Thanks for sticking around with us. Thanks for watching. And we hope you guys have a great evening. All right. Cool. Let's play him some music, Sergio. All right. You got some music for us? I do. I need to scooch over here. Maybe maybe give us at least one from Otani and one from Sanoe san yeah. Ah, yeah. We're gonna, we got right. Wendy and Ripley going right now. And we're going to end with Rooftop Run. Cool. Later, guys. All right. Thanks, All right. guys. Take care.